Let me leave in your thoughts the noble words of the New Zealand poet, William Conover. We are no Roman Empire which has waned, but the progression of a high and glorious plan. A brotherhood of nations has been gained to usher in the brotherhood of man. It is my privilege as Chamberlain of this city to offer you the right hand of fellowship and to greet you as a citizen of London. It is a great pleasure and honor. In the name of the Corporation of London, I present you uh, with this casket which contains a copy of your freedom. May this little memento ever serve to remind you of the esteem in which you are held by those who are now your fellow citizens of London. Your Grace, Your Excellencies, Your Eminence, my Lords, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am deeply grateful to you, my Lord Mayor, and to the Court of Common Council of the City of London for the high honour which you have done me. I should like also to thank the Chamberlain for the very kind things he has said about me and about my country. I am very proud to take my place as a freeman of this city, which, uh, through a long history, has made its own great contribution to what we really mean and feel when we talk about freedom. I realize, of course, that this is much more than a personal tribute, that it is not I, but Canada, whom you honor. Our connections with this city are old and enduring. They are an essential part of our history. We Canadians of French descent are not a little proud of our precedence as pioneers in opening up the lands and rivers of the half-continent which has become Canada. But uh, while our forefathers were working their way up the St. Lawrence, towards the Pays d'en haut, merchants, traders, fishermen, and gentlemen adventurers from the great ports of London and Bristol were, from the 16th century onward, pioneers of exploration of Newfoundland, Labrador, Ungava, and the shores of Hudson's Bay. And among the first of these pioneers were those from this city and elsewhere, of the Hudson's Bay Company, men who dared much to open up a vast new world. These uh, doughty traders and ex This is a trusteeship with which, in younger lands, and uh, perhaps in this country too, some people are sometimes impatient. And yet, it symbolizes in a most striking and visible way the sense of history and the feeling of continuity that underlie, support, and greatly strengthen the free institutions by which we live and in which we put our trust. In this country, you have conceived and developed the idea of a national trust with the deliberate purpose and intention of preserving for succeeding generations of your countrymen historic buildings which have in their time mirrored and kept the style and ways of life of your forebears. 
It has sometimes seemed to me that in the city of London, this sense of natural piety takes an even wider and livelier form. It was surely wise and right in the rebuilding of this city to give pride of place to the restoration of this noble hall. It's a good thing to preserve historic monuments, but it is perhaps even better to keep ancient forms and institutions alive and flourishing in this age of change. Brought up in the province of Canada, whose motto is, Je me souviens, I remember. We are sometimes chided in a new country for this backward glance. But uh, when I come here today as Prime Minister of Canada to accept the freedom of this great and ancient city, I feel that you and we are one in recognizing that our present and our future grow out of our histories and that we are all heirs to great traditions which it is our proud duty to remember and maintain. My Lord Mayor, before I move this formal resolution, I feel I must say on behalf of the Court of Common Council, as well as on behalf of all present, how much we have appreciated the Prime Minister of Canada's response to the address, and to thank him for his truly inspiring words. It is in this spirit, Chamberlain, and the reply of the Right Honourable Louis Stephen Saint Laurent be entered on the journal of this court and printed in the minutes of the proceedings sent to every member. I move accordingly, my Lord Mayor. Alderman Sir Percy Greenaway. Frank Alexander. <laughs> 